So today, Bungie released a weekly update that sounds like they're going to change the name of it or something. There are some very interesting changes coming in the February update next week. The first of which, there's actually going to be some fixes in the Oryx encounter. For anyone who's been a runner before, knows that when you take the Aura of Immortality from the vessel, you go into third person for a second, and even if you turn around and start running towards your friends, the camera immediately sets you back towards the initial viewpoint. Well, that's going to change. You're going to be able to turn around ahead of time and start running towards your friends without the camera going back to the default position. So I'm excited about that. Also, they're going to make changes to where the ogres will no longer teleport. Apparently, the bombs that the previous ogres would leave behind would interrupt the ogres' pathfinding algorithm or something, and that's why they would actually just teleport completely away from the bombs. So that's also going to be fixed. Very exciting. Now, Bungie did a lot of testing with the matchmaking connection speeds with Iron Banner and is now expanding that to other playlists. They're also introducing this new player to the networking team, such as with the No Mercy rule. This is going to be called Damage Referee. Basically, this thing's job is to make people with good connections, their lives much easier, and ones with bad connections much more difficult. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. So I'm pretty excited to see how that's going to play out. Next up, Bungie is going to introduce what's called freelance playlists. What these do is basically, these are separated by 3v3 versions and 6v6 versions, where there will be multiple game types like Control, Clash, and then the 3v3 side would be Elimination, salvage and skirmish the thing with these are is that there are no fire teams allowed to create a more balanced and diverse experience for anyone that just likes to play solo that's going to be pretty exciting now for the really heavy stuff or rather special stuff bungie is going to remove special ammo from the initial start of every Crucible match in 3v3 playlists. They describe a scenario, what it's like to enter a match, and let's say you know your choke point, you know where you want to go, and you head over there, you're ready to set up, you're ready to kick some ass. But then you get sniped. So Bungie asked the question, what would it have been like if the sniper had no ammo to begin with? How would that play out? Now they say the ammo crates throughout the match will spawn periodically as the same as before. The only thing that's changing is in 3v3s, there will be no initial special ammo. This is not changing for 6v6 because the data shows that special ammo doesn't really make much of a difference or a significant difference in the initial stages of a 6v6 match as it does in a 3v3, especially something as sensitive as trials. My only question which was not answered in this post is in trials will special ammo be reset every round or just in the first round when you first fly in that's my question i think if special ammo was removed after every round not only would there be no need to rush to any special ammo created at the end of a trials round but it would create some very interesting initial encounters every single round if the special ammo were treated like heavy ammo where you just don't start off with any. So what do you think of these changes? Are you excited that there's going to be less headshot snipers in the beginning of matches? you think this will be enough? Is this too much? Leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to share it, like, and subscribe to my channel for more Destiny content. My name is Chit, and I approve this message. No total domination when I see it. I just got Guardian down. Did I just get Phantom or Bulletproof?